Hey everybody, welcome back to Cityscape Brewing. I'm Dennis Fields, and today we're gonna to be talking about the tilt hydrometer. I wasn't really planning on doing a video on the tilt. Uh, I think you've probably all seen that I use a tilt hydrometer in most of my brews. Um, it's in most of my brew day videos. I haven't really touched bases on it, but what really pushed me to want to do this video is really the customer service that I received from tilt specifically. So I've used a tilt hydrometer for quite a while, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how I use it and some of the equipment that I use uh, that helps the tilt. But uh, specifically, um, I had an issue with mine recently. I had to change the battery in it. I, I ordered some uh, O-rings for the seal, uh, for the lid, uh, from the tilt hydrometer website. I got them, I changed it out exactly how they want you to do that, and uh, it got a little bit of moisture inside of it. Somehow or another, whether it, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I had the cap cranked on pretty good, uh, but some way or another, when I crashed my last hazy IPA, I made cold crashed it, which it's allowed to get down to that cold temperature. It allowed a little bit of moisture to get inside of the tilt and it started corroding around the battery and things. And I was really disappointed. I'd used it for a long time. Well, I, was, uh, I got in touch with uh, the tilt folks at customer service and they actually offered to refurbish it for free. So I sent it to them. Uh, and now I just got it back and I'm telling you, customer service, top notch. It works perfectly. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you guys the refurbished tilt hydrometer that I got back. I'm gonna go through what, how I use it, uh, what the app looks like, and also about Tilt Pie, which uses a Raspberry Pi. We'll talk about all those things after you guys hit that like and subscribe button and grab a beer. Cheers. All right, so let's open it up. So I got this thing back uh, from Tilt. Again, I'm, I'm just amazed at the customer service. Like, they were happy to help. They were gonna send me a, a brand new one before I even asked, but they uh, said, because I didn't have my uh, uh, receipt, that they said, just go ahead and send it to us and we'll refurbish it. And I, I gladly did. They sent it back. Um, I didn't pay anything except for the, the shipping I had to uh, pay to get it to them. And wow, outstanding customer service. I mean, this is $135 for one of these tilts. And I was heartbroken when I found out that I could have probably possibly ruined th this thing. So um, anyway, when you get your tilt, you're gonna open it up. It's gonna have be sitting in there like this. You're gonna take it out of the box and it actually comes in a kind of a carrying case. So it looks like this. It's got a white cap on the top. You need to take that out of there. A lot of people think like this is the tilt, but the tilt is inside of this little case. It helps protect it while it's in uh, transportation and all that kind of stuff. So this is my tilt. I have a red one. There are ways that you can calibrate this. And, and rather than doing an overview of those videos, I'll link them in the video description below. This thing should come uh, calibrated. Uh, but but if you would like to do that and make sure that it's right, you can go ahead and do that, especially if you're doing like higher gravity beers. So I use a red one. Um, if you keep it in this position or sideways position, this is off, right? Anytime it's tilted, it's on, right? So uh, there's a little LED light. This flashes when it turns on. And uh, if you float it in water, it does that. So I have a little mason jar of water and you let that thing float in there. And at water, it should be at 1.000. And just to kind of show you here, I have my phone and I'll open up the Tilt, uh, Tilt 2 app, which is their second version of their Tilt app. And it should be very, very close, if not exactly on 0.001. So here we go, 0.001. Uh, it's a, it should be 1.000, but it's 1.001, which is exactly close. It could be just barely touching the side or something in there um, and 68 degrees. And so this is high, uh, comes calibrated already. It's ready to throw in a beer whenever you get it. But uh, if you want to go through that further calibration step, uh, feel free to do that. So while this is floating in your beer, you can come by, you can check your phone, you can see where your gravity or your uh, temperature is at really any time, right? But one thing I like to do is be able to check on this 24 seven, no matter where I'm at. Maybe I'm at work, maybe I'm traveling, maybe I'm uh, uh, just upstairs and I'm lazy and I don't wanna go walk down by the, uh, the tilt in order to get a reading. Um, I hook mine up to what they call a Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi. This is basically essentially a, a, a computer chip that's in here that has a micro SD card. It's got a micro 
um, USB ports and an HDMI port in here. Um, and you program this little SD card with software that again, the Tilt folks, and I'll have this again, again in the link description below, show you how to do. There's a, uh, um, a download for uh, an app file that you will go ahead and you will download onto this SD card. And that will tell you to essentially hook this to your Wi-Fi and then it uh, Bluetooths to your tilt hydrometer. So essentially every 15 minutes, this thing's going to ask for a reading from your tilt and it's going to log it on a Google Sheets. And you could name this, you know, name a beer, whatever you want. Readings will show up every 15 minutes and you can see where your gravity readings are at. You can see when fermentation starts, you can see when it finishes, you can see, you know, specific gravity uh, at a certain time during the fermentation. You can see temperature inside because this is gonna be floating inside of your beer. And so this is really helpful information to help you kind of dial in um, your brewing process. Where I find it specifically helpful is for brewing hazy IPAs where I wanna dry hop at, at almost a specific gravity uh, before fermentation finishes. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, log a new beer. So I put my tilt in a beer. Once you have your Raspberry Pi hooked up, ready to go, and they give you a uh, link in your first email, and then you'll show a screen that has all of the different tilts. So if you had a yellow and a blue and a green one and stuff like that, they'd all show in a separate box. So right now, I have a beer going right now. It's at 1.065, which I hit my gravity perfectly. Not trying to brag, but I'm kind of a big deal. And uh, the temperature is at 67, which is my fermentation temperature. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you how I log a new beer uh, with this one. So you, in this uh, app, what you would do is go here and go to logging. Um, you're gonna go ahead, right now I have it as just test pie but you can go ahead and just put in your name of your beer. So in this case, this beer is the uh, Sierra Nevada Celebration IPA. So I'm gonna call it Celebration IPA. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my email address down here and say, um, like that. And then we're gonna push uh, enter. It's gonna go to the cloud and then it will give it a number after you name your beer. There you go. So now we have Celebration IPA, you have this number here, and it also has a cloud URL to go to your Google Sheets. One thing that's important if you wanted to go to Brewer's Friend is that you would also add, at the end of this <coughs> long page, you put a comma, and then you would add the next uh, thing that you want to, to uh, Go to so for instance right now i have this going to also to my brewer's friend so i put my brewer's friend log information after that and that's all listed in the brewer's friend app uh, if you have that and so you would put that in the same line here uh, on your tilt page on your logging page and then so you just go back to your tilt pie and then you can kind of see what's going on here it's a uh, specific version um, is, is an older version of Raspberry Pi. I'll, I'll try to find one that's equivalent to this size and style of mine. This one's called a Raspberry Pi Zero W, and they don't quite make this one anymore specifically, but you can buy just the, the, uh, the microchip cards like this one on uh, Amazon, and then you can actually buy this exact same case, or there's other cases that look similar, uh, other black ones and things like that but I'll link one right specifically in the video description so you can actually see that uh, and order one if you'd like to. And so um, I keep this thing plugged in all the time. I keep it really close to my uh, fermentation chamber just beyond the, uh, the wall behind me as a bedroom. I keep it plugged in just on a, on a, uh, a nightstand in there. And then this thing's really close and every 15 minutes it, it hooks to the Wi-Fi, sends a point and I can kind of tell where things are. It's a real game changer for the tilt, in my opinion it doubles how cool the Tilt is by itself. I mean, the Tilt is amazing. Can't say enough about the company as we've already talked about, but the, the hooking it up with, uh, with the Tilt Pi or, or through a Raspberry Pi is the best. Uh, it is hands down one of the coolest things. And, and I wanna uh, preface that it's not 100% accurate. Right, so especially when you have a very vigorous fermentation going on, you're gonna get stuff kind of stuck to the tilt every once in a while. But what it's supposed to do is give you kind of a reading so you know where things are at. I bought the tilt uh, first and then I bought the Raspberry Pi second, but I bought it you know, very shortly afterwards. And I'm telling you, I wouldn't have one without the other now. Don't feel overwhelmed. 
I didn't even know what a Raspberry Pi was before I got started. Uh, and it, they step you through the directions one by one by one, so you don't have to worry about it. You just follow the directions on the YouTube channel, and then you, uh, you, you put it to good use. All right, so in summary, tilts are awesome. The company is awesome, and if anything, you know that you're gonna get awesome customer service like I did. Very, very cool. Uh, they don't even know that I'm gonna really do this video about this because I was just blown away with how their customer service was that I felt like they needed a direct video only on the tilt just to show my appreciation for, uh, for them specifically. So with that, grab yourself a tilt, get yourself a Raspberry Pi because it's awesome. Have a beer, hit that like and subscribe button, and happy brewing. Thanks for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. Another couple ways that you can help support the channel is by hitting that like and subscribe button. You can also check out the merchandise in our store. I have other shirts. We got glassware, we got stickers, hats, sweatshirts, etc. Go check it out. Also, hit that video here. You know you want to.